Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here discussing some more Age of Sigmar Realms of Ruin, an upcoming RTS that will be playable on consoles and PC. And in this video we'll be looking at the uh, faction focus video for the Stormcast Eternals, which the developers just released a little over two weeks ahead of the open beta for the game. Also available to watch on YouTube is an hour-long live stream where the developers talk about a lot of the work that went into the game, including the detail in the animations, as well as the gameplay and campaign, and answered a number of questions about that, so uh, you can check that out. So the Stormcast Eternals are one of four factions that will be in the game. In the open beta, we'll only be able to play as the Stormcast and Crew Boys. Uh, but the Stormcast are characterized by being highly resilient, very durable, but also expensive, and they are an elite army. They also have a lot of versatility and are able to counter any threat by using a combination of ranged and melee units as well as powerful heroes. In this video we'll see some of those new units in action, although there are still units that haven't been revealed yet that we will have access to once the open beta hits. So make sure that you register so that you can play the game and test it out for yourself. So here we see some more in-game footage of the Stormcast versus Crew Boys. We've got a few heroes leading several squads of infantry across the battlefield. You can see above each unit is a small icon which indicates what type of unit it is. Shields are resistant to bows but weak against swords. Swords are strong against shields but weak against bows. And bows are strong against swords, but weak against shields. You can also notice some of the individual heroes there don't have any of those three icons. They have a separate one, so they don't fall under those categories. But these icons can be helpful for you to just quickly assess the battlefield and determine which unit to use to counter a specific enemy unit. Movement and the attack animations look amazing. Uh, there's all kinds of reactive stuff going on, which uh, the developers mentioned in the live stream where uh, they will actually re react to the environment around them. And it sounds like some of the terrain on the maps will be interactive as well, like swamps that will slow down your units. you also got powerful abilities that heroes and individual units can use, and uh, they mentioned that uh, there are two resource types in this game. There's uh, Command and Realmstone, so you use those resources to purchase new units, like this Celestar Ballista, powerful artillery piece that costs 235 Command and 35 Realmstone. But individual unit abilities also cost either Command or Realmstone, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen. So, for example, this hero has the Banner of the Reforged. It costs 120 Realmstone uh, for a channeled ability. And then we've got another hero over here with the Furious Retribution ability for 100 Realmstone. And I assume that's what this Lightning Blast is. So, of course, the heroes have powerful abilities, but it looks like every single unit in the roster has a unique ability which you have to spend resources on, so you'll have to take care to manage your resources and use them at the right time to turn the tide of a battle. Taking a look at some of the elite units for the Stormcast Eternals, we got the Annihilators here, which are extremely tough, uh, almost impervious to damage from all attack types, so they're just really good at holding down a position, but they are a bit slow. By contrast, we have the Prosecutors, which are much more mobile, they're able to fly up, and over enemies and terrain to strike at weak points with powerful damage dealing abilities. We can also see a massive Storm Drake guard flying across the battlefield, landing behind the enemy positions before it unleashes a draconic fireball at a kill bow, roasting those little orcs. And also in this video they introduced the direct step system which is basically how you control your army when playing on a console. I've never personally played an RTS game on a console before so I don't really know how it works but uh, it does seem like it would be pretty clunky but uh, thanks to this direct step system they make it very easy to uh, toggle different commands uh, you can chain commands so that you can easily tell units to move and attack and use abilities in quick succession and I think they mentioned when you select a unit it will automatically move the camera to zoom in on that unit and so it's it's a little bit of a different uh, interface than PC players will be using, uh, but it will definitely make it a lot easier for console players, I think, which is important because they have cross-play you know, between the consoles and PC. And while it might take a little time to master, uh, it sounds like Direct Step will make it a lot easier to manage your units all across a, a large battlefield. Here you can see some more fighting in action. We've got a variety of units with uh, different abilities that you can see in the bottom left. Uh, we've also got a number of structures 
Uh, some of them can be seen firing bolts into the enemies, so you got defensive like towers. So they haven't revealed everything. Obviously, there's still a little bit more uh, to the Stormcast Eternals than what we can see in uh, this video, but it looks very promising. I'm excited to see more and looking forward to actually playing as both the Stormcast Eternals and Cruel Boys in the open beta in uh, multiplayer matches. So keep an eye out for more news regarding this game in the coming weeks. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.